and then they're going to come back, most of them coming from Mage. <laughs> it's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, I wish on, like, the end screen, like, it had, like, you know how they have, like, all the stats if you scroll down? Yeah. I wish on specifically Rosa, it just had Luma's spawned. Yeah. <laughs> just to compare. Like, uh, how many times, like, Luma's died for each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'd also be a useful stat to know, because, like, imagine you play against a Rosa all the time, and you're trying to get matchup experience. Mm -hmm. You could check to see how many Lomas a game you're killing, but uh... And just statistically, on average, just like, how much you would need to kill Luma in order yeah. for it to like, be effective. For sure. Game. Now, uh, Mage has made it this far in the bracket, but... C2 only has to win one set in order to take this tournament for Mage, and Mage was having a little bit of a struggle last time they played. Yeah. Yeah, C2 just... doing his homework. Downloading and adapting the Mage's playstyle towards like later on in game two and game three. Shoutouts to to Rags, who is not here, still like keeping up with stuff and making the title of the set Return to Luma. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so getting into this set uh, right here, we got Mage immediately taking a lead, but also immediately getting his Luma hit characteristically. In, uh, Pretty, pretty similar for this sort of set. Already, one Luma casualty. But Mage, fearlessly still going for those grabs. Yeah, he has been getting a lot of those grabs. Just relentless with these punishes. Yeah, those, those situations where, where Rosa gets a down throw, uh, or an up throw up air rather, are so, so good. Because even if they jump away while you're waiting for the air dodge, mm -hmm. like, they still have to land without their double jump. Oh yeah. And if you want a character like Sheik, Diddy, anything like that to reset to neutral like Rosa isn't, you're gonna have a hard time landing. Yeah, like a really hard time. But, uh... <laughs> Trade. If we get a bracket reset, it's either gonna be called Luma Awakens or The Last Luma. <laughs> the Last Luma? Yeah. Third trilogy. But, uh, we're seeing... We're seeing the second trilogy of Luma, Luma, Luma Wars. Luma's just a star anyways, right? So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> the Lumas are, are the stars in question. Like, the Death Star, they kill you super early, but the, the wand is the lightsaber, you see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Right now, it's looking like C2 is the one in charge of the, the force here. Ooh. Immediately doing uh, some, some good work. Getting... Ooh. Getting him. Just put that down here. C2, fighting the power of the dark side of the force, you know, power I, I, enough to take that look, first look, 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 if there are two roses in grand finals, I think everything is the dark side of the force. That is true. That's this is this true. is the darkest timeline. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the timeline where just all the heroes are gone, and there's nothing left but just roses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Mage, Mage taking that stock there with a well-placed up smash. Extremely well done from him, and <laughs> that Luma flew. Mage, Lumalus as always. Still, still in this though. Ooh. Yeah, Mage definitely still in a position to do pretty well here. He's he's pretty good at staying calm under pressure until he loses Luma, and even then he just goes aggro. So <laughs> we'll see if he can. Uh, Make this comeback here, only a 40-ish percent comeback, 33, or 37, Ooh. my bad. Six. Number's always changing. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Mage just getting the expert landing there. Getting the Luma, this is his chance to really get that momentum that we've seen from this tournament Ooh! so far. Wow. The down air finally connected. Oh we haven't God. seen any one of those like get like a spike hit. The bonus. thing is, I don't think that that was the spike. It wasn't. I think what happened is the Luma down aired. It hit him. It sent him in, and it hit him so it was untackable. Like it hit him so wow. quick that it just he just went straight down. He got a really good angle on that. So wow. good stuff to Mage. That was crazy. You might actually just see a bracket reset. I'm going to be right back. I gotta go use the restroom. Okay. I'll be back
So yeah, we are seeing the uh, the town and city pick from uh, from C2 and uh, or, sorry from uh, yeah from C2. My bad. And uh, already Mage taking early lead here, but for sure it's gonna be really interesting to see how this plays out. Mage just taking the stage control, taking the momentum, but losing a little bit of, of it whenever C2 rolled in with that up smash. Just Mage refusing to give uh, C2 the stage back. He wants this grand final so badly. C2. Yeah, he's, he's just hasn't landed in a long, long time. Mage's advantage state right now is just so, so good, but C2 firing back a little bit right there with the dash attack, but trying to overcommit a little bit too much uh, on that edge guard. We haven't seen many of those work this uh, previous set in winner's finals, and right now it doesn't seem like it's panning out for him either. However, still stuck off stage. Getting a little bit of stage control back here, and <laughs> Mage just punishing him for that roll. He just... Mage with the classic momentum we've seen so so many times and just doing so so well with it until CC C2 had spawn invincibility and just punched him. The back and forth of this this set here. Oh for once Mage definitely getting the upper hand on these Luma kills here, even without his own Luma. We've seen that a lot so far in this set, just Mage taking the first uh First bit, and it's working out pretty well for him. Wait, up smash. Punishing him for the landing. He was out of options there. Not really much Mage could have done, and at least after that double jump, man. C2 punishing it expertly. And Mage just looking for that up smash, though. I am back. Ooh. Welcome back, boss, to the stream. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. And, man, we are just seeing Mage with so much momentum right now, just oh able gosh. to do so much to... to... We're, this is a punish game that we haven't seen thus far from, from Mage, you know? So this is definitely a turnaround from earlier in the first finals. Oh, yeah, Mage has made some adjustments for sure. Yeah. And that's what I love seeing, just players... You know, they may not do so well in the first matchup, but turn around like grand finals or later on in the tournament and uh -huh. just adapt just really hard to someone's playstyle. Oh, for sure. Ooh, we have red and blue Luma coming out for the respective. Oh. Ooh! That up air taking that game and closing out game two for Mage. Yo. Man, that was clean. <laughs> Mage just Luma'd him at like. That was like, have you seen that that one set? I think it was like uh, Shots Fired 2 or something, where Mr. R just gets double up air to zero and just kills him. Yeah, I saw that. I was I like, like <laughs> oh no. That's what. That's exactly what just happened here. Uh, the most ultimate cheese. So we'll see how how C2 shoots back here. I'm really not sure how he's how he's gonna do. It seems like a complete momentum switch. C2 with the character switch. We're seeing the bayonetta. Oh? Okay. I'm not sure really how I feel about this because Bayonetta obviously a really good character, including on Lilat. Uh, but even with the guns, like Rosa can just down B the bullets. Like yeah. it's not nearly as dominant as on other turn uh, other situations. And also with uh, Rosa, or sorry, with uh, Bayonetta, it's worth noting that um, Bayonetta, even whenever she has the combos. Whenever she starts comboing Luma, it, that hit stun gets extended every single time that Luma gets hit while she's trying to combo Rosa. Uh. So most of the combos even aren't going to work while Luma's there. Yeah, true. So, so basically, if Bayo like hits Luma, yeah, see, see right yeah, there, like he hit Luma. It's not going to work on Rosalina necessarily. Like it still can, but it's it's a rough time. But yeah. <laughs> Searching for this this really high kill here and Lumalis. It's like so like what you're saying is because the hitbox is extended, she has more time to like get out of like Well, combos. because Luma gets hit it the hit stun happens and yeah that gets extended. Oh okay, okay. Ooh, good up smash. Yeah. Nice. Getting a little bit aggressive with the the witch time, but 
C2 is still definitely able to take this stock. He just needs one witch time, one forward smash, one maybe even down air. And it's worth noting that uh, down air can kill Luma extremely early. It sends him super f uh, far really quick, so. Oh no! Oh no! Wait! Oh, he's alive. He's living! living though. He's living. living okay. Though. He just gave Luma I a ton was... of time to respawn, but he yeah. lived. So. I was actually kind of scared. I was like. I like, I like how both C2 and Mage just stopped for a second we're like, did he just make it back? Yeah. Yeah, see that Luma just got hit instead of Mage and it just gave Mage so much time to reposition himself. Oh, yeah. Well, that is one way to kill Luma. <laughs> just, just duffed. Yeah. And... Lilac pick might go interestingly if, uh... If he can catch, uh... Mage first take the first stock, but also, yeah, back air right there, super super strong back air. But if he can take Mage's uh, stock with a combo, Rose is a floating character. If he can get rid of Luma and start that combo going, he could have a really really good punish on his hands. Side B, up B, not quite safely maneuvering himself away. There. Killing him with the dash attack. Later, bro. Down tilt, fair. Side B, side B. Nope. No finish on the punish, and so much end lag from all of those specials. Yeah. Oh, but he's Lumaless. He might be able to take him with an up air. Not quite. We're seeing. Yeah. Bayonetta ledge planking is super scary, and we might see it here. Oh no! Oh. That's the combo. I think the the craziest thing about that is I feel like I think I'm not 100% sure. I would have to rewatch the situation again. But I think whenever he got that second side B, it was a 50/50 as to whether he was going to get the kill. Either he would up B one way, and uh, Mage would SDI. Uh, like if SDI, uh, if Mage SDI the opposite direction of the up B then he would have gotten killed. It was a 50-50, and C2 reversed it up aired because he knew the mage would SDI away. Wow. So smart. Good stuff coming the mage out to C2. Yeah. We're gonna get yeah. here to game four. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how well C2's uh, Bayonetta is gonna be able to do on a stage that isn't Lilat. Lilat notoriously one of the best stages for Bayonetta as a character, and I don't know. We've seen that his combo game super scary. Oh, yeah. This is Grand Finals right now. We are definitely in it for the long haul. Uh, let's see. Bayonetta just trying to get as much damage as she can. Uh, she's got to find a way to take this Luma out so Mage can't have as much of an advantage stage as he wants. Oh, and with that said, Luma already dead. But Mage really good with these grabs. Ooh, it just, ah, that's the thing with Bayonetta, it's just ending with so much end lag on a bunch of her moves. I can see how a lot of people say it's like hard for Bayonetta to play neutral, just because she has so much end lag and so. I mean, it's, it's hard for Bayonetta to play neutral, but at the same time she has so many options, right? She has a lot of burst options, which is... I mean, even aside from burst options, like, she can catch you in the air with almost no risk with, like, oh, fair. Yeah. And, like, Nair is just super good for whip punishing and... Ooh, ooh. That back air! He went super far out for that back air. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> but catching him at the re-grab for the ledge. He was just catching him holding on to ledge a little bit too long there and punishing with the F-Smash, but... Nice. You never know with either of these characters, it could be the set if Mage can get, a, like, a super early kill, like yeah, we've seen true. before. This could go in any person's way. Ooh, that's side just, B. That's just how crazy yeah, this game can be. Up till... Waiting for the double jump. Not quite punishing the landing, but definitely getting Ooh, into advantage state. This could be it. This Let's could be it. Happens. This could be it. But not Ooh. quite converting the uh, up air up B. Mage DI went away for it. Thought, Pretty good. I thought his priority was uh, killing Luma. It was a little bit more important. That kind of cost him being able to get some damage on this thing. But, but this could be it for Mage. But, Ooh, not, not quite, quite. Not quite. Almost. That was close. Ooh, that was like 20% off of that up smash. <laughs> yeah, Mage definitely doing what he needs to to bring this back. It's already almost even, even after that super long combo in. 
Oh, mage going for the going for the edge guard, but not quite panning out for him. Still, it could it's anyone's game right now. Any super strong read with an up smash from mage, you're like, yeah, not quite without Luma, but missed the witch time. There's the reset. And now we are going into part two. The last Luma 2 electric boogaloo. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this this could go really interestingly. I think C2 is staying Bayonetta, yeah. We're seeing the, him stay on Bayonetta despite the fact that he's not on Lilat anymore. I guess he's not comfortable enough with uh, playing against Mage after that, that first set of Grands. But Mage... We've seen he's made some excellent adjustments between sets last time. Let's see if he can do the same against this uh, Bayonetta. He've, so far in terms of games, he's only 1-1, but we'll see if he can do any better. Ooh, out of landing options, getting the punish up throw up air. <laughs> Jabbing him out of the up B. That's a, that's a rare occurrence just because of how disjointed that move is, but we're seeing a combo again, but side B, side B isn't going to cut it for keeping him in hit stun. That Ooh, was a bait. Okay. That was a super bait, dude. Oh my gosh. But <laughs> we're seeing C2 whiff all of these, these witch time punishes, and he was out of jumps because of it. He got hit by the Luma, and he just had no recovery options. Ever, ever have that feeling wherever you get the witch time but die instead? <laughs> oh man, that has to be like the most like depressing feeling in the world. It's just like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ooh, C2 just doing so much to try and get rid of Luma, but it's not working as well as it was with this Rosa. Just not quite getting his options down as much. But the hit stun. The hit stun extension with uh, up B was extremely solid there. Around the up B. You got some grabs coming out from Mage. Yeah, for sure. And, uh. Ooh, good Mage back air. Seems to be taking a commanding lead right now. Like, he's. Yeah. Just running well, away smash. with this, oh my god. We're seeing gosh. the two stock, we're seeing the two stock. He's adapted to the Rosa, he's adapted to the Bale. He's just on a roll right now. Yeah. Mage, I think definitely one of those mental players who are really good at just Yeah, like, I mean, the longer he has to pick you apart, the better it's gonna be. And he's yeah. had, how many games so far? First game set was, was game five. This set, he's, he's had nine games. And Ten he's not games dropping like any opportunity he has to like punish any whiffs or any mistakes that C2 is making. Yeah, for sure. We're seeing C2 definitely killing that Luma effectively, trying to get his old mojo back like he was with uh, <laughs> with Rosa, but having an interesting time maneuvering around the stage. I'm not sure why they went back to Lilat. Maybe he banned Townsend or something. Missing the combo, but Ooh. not hesitating to pick up another opportunity afterwards. That was actually pretty clean. And coming out with the taunt, too. I mean, that was 4% off from being, uh, from being as near to death. He was below 10% when that kill happened. So yeah. He's definitely feeling pretty good about that one. Mage just... He's trying to fire back, though. Potentially, like, shooting to get some of the Luma Jang? Maybe not. That was an interesting trade. <laughs> or clank, rather. Wait. Not quite there. Mage, yeah, definitely thirsty to get this kill, but right now, C2 feeling really good about how, how that first kill went. This wants to keep the momentum going. Oh, that up air. Little up air landing. And if Mage gets that momentum going like he did last game, like he definitely two stock last game. Well, we might see if he does it again. Well, Let's hope so. It's gonna like if he can two stock him, he can take two stocks without losing one. But yeah. if he gets back here, here it might be over, or if just C two SDs or something. Ah, uh, I don't agree <laughs> with that. I should have back here. But we'll get the grab. 
Oh. Ooh. Not Try quite. to go for the air dodge. Air dodge but... Still not letting him land for free. I mean, he's not dead yet, though, which is super big, because, like, Ooh. this much rage on Rosa? One missed landing. It's scary, over. yeah. One missed landing. Ooh. He's trying, he was not going. Quite. Yeah, he got way too aggressive on that ledge and did not get, did not react fast enough for that back air. Yeah, but so. also, think about how well Mage has been playing. Even though he got, like, zero to death first game, he brought it back to plausibility. Two stocked in first game. That's just a testament to how much mental focus this player has. Sure, yeah. If C2, able... if C2 doesn't get these punishes on point on stages that aren't his best stage with the character, we could definitely see some, some interesting stuff going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the early witch time. I don't think he actually was trying to witch time there. I think he was trying to downwards after burner kick, but it didn't work out. Yeah. Cool. See the early combos. Probably oh my gosh! I yeah, thought... yeah, it's too early for that to kill. Okay. He was dealing was... away with all that, but this, I was this might shook. be deadly. Okay. Uh, double side B doesn't combo not be that well, but the reads. T oh. two with these super aggressive landing options. You know? Up throw, up air. Yo! Oh! That I respect what he was trying to go for. He almost lost Luma for it, but that would have been super sick. That would have been so sick. They already lost Luma there anyway, so it's not, it's not that bad. Oh my gosh, Ooh. the bait! Oh! The bait! Oh! Caught him doing the air dodge! Oh. Man, these two are just going at it right now. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Definitely, but we're seeing, we're seeing C2 trying to shoot back with his Bayonetta. We're just trying to see, he's just trying to get something going here, man. Oh, yeah. If he can get like a side B up air going, yeah, not quite. That uh, up B, up B air connects a lot better on the second up B, just because the second up B, if you didn't know, has lower end lag, but he's tracking these landings down like a wolf. Oh yeah. Giving him respect where he needs to. Not, not quite. Ooh, good back air. Side B back air definitely confirmed. Yeah. Side B in almost any area of that percent. Oh, but that, ugh, that's so disgusting. That oh, yeah, that was that was really good for Mage and Mage. One game from taking this grand finals. Man, let's hope he can clutch it out though. Yeah, Mage. Mage needs to to keep his composure here. It's really easy to be really antsy when you're one game away from taking the set, but oh, yeah. this is also not an unfamiliar position for either of these players. So. C2 getting this uh, this comeback is definitely doable, but Mage is playing happens. so well. What unfolds in this game for? Let's go. Yo. <laughs> oh, what is he going for? Mage has this guy like downloaded, dude. Well, yeah, he he's knowing like everything he's going to do. Like right now, most of his errors are errors where. It's not that he he missed something. He knew exactly what was happening. He missed like oh an input. It's not that he, he he didn't you know. It's not and, that he didn't know he was gonna do it. And Mage has all the proper spacing right now. To just take like, run away with this. Yeah. See that Luma. See how long that she was just stuck there. Yeah. <laughs> C2 recognized that there would be no point to continue that combo because. Ooh. Really Good awareness of the Luma to get the back air to kill it. Back air probably Bayonetta's best tool when it comes to killing Luma. Yeah. Committing super hard to stuff like F, F smash. Uh, which time? Interesting decision. And Ooh, yeah, good there's run the up shield. That was smart. Oh my god. I, I think C2, even though the game was relatively even in terms of set count, he's feeling a little bit desperate. Yeah. So his his plays have been a little bit more off the dramatic, wall, yeah. dramatic, and all or nothing, you know. Oh yeah. But that almost paying off there. It. Surprisingly enough. Ooh, I'm surprised that Mage what? didn't just uh, up air him after that upbeat. What patience by Mage, just not letting him have this stock so easily. Especially against Bayonetta, who can kill you for whiffing a normal at like oh, 70. Yeah. <laughs> 
just staying alive, even though this character's so floaty. For sure, but... Oh my gosh! Ooh, that will not take it! <laughs> oh my gosh! That mage is doing so well right now, just staying alive. He's at 150 oh, against yeah. a Bayonetta. Also kind of helps that C2 is just throwing out smashes sometimes. Yeah, just play. <laughs> This mental fortitude that Mage has just to play well at all costs is, oh, yeah. is, is really starting to show considering how much ballsier I guess C2 is playing, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh, you see, even though he died, he still got a hit with He's, Uma. He still That's got a percent. Just, oh, yeah. man. But we might see the combo. Oh. I don't think that's gonna kill, but it might. No, no. Okay, it's not. Not this early. I, I only did Noka's Town, because usually that shouldn't kill. Ooh. Interesting. The balloon actually might have saved him from that second up air. Because it hit stun. I'm not sure. That... Oh, man. Is this it? That might be... Ooh. No, good not DI yet. from Mage. Good SDI good, from Mage yeah, on the second DI. afterburner kick. I think that was the, his SDI on the afterburner kick. <laughs> Mage just... Uh, or Luma just low profiled that. That, uh... Up smash, or F smash. Oh. Bad witch time, but no real punish other than jabs. Of course, Rose's jab is nothing to scoff at, but nothing super hard. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, good up air from Luma. If Luma had an up air there, that might have been it. Ooh. Going for the jab ledge trapping, but not quite. Ooh. Not quite enough hits done for Mage to stop what he was doing, but. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh! He wanted the style, but that might be it. Is that... No, not that's not One it. more yeah. hit. One more hit is all either player needs. But right now, he's in the percent where either variation of jab will kill a ledge. That's scary, but... Ooh, that up smash, smash will take it. And that is Red Line Grand Finals for you guys. Mage, your champion for today. Good stuff to see, too, yep. though. Mage of Symphony... <laughs> Mage, Mage of, of Symphonia. Mage of Symphonia doing doing really well there. Uh, taking this red line and doing a really good job with it. Yeah, good stuff to him. Good stuff to everyone that came out tonight. Really Definitely. appreciate you guys showing support. Definitely a fun tournament. 51 entrants, one on our upper end. Of oh, the, yeah. Um, I think the most I've been to that we've had is like 60-something, like 63. Yeah. But, uh, it's, it's, it's been a good tournament. So, uh... I hope you all come next week, every Tuesday. Yes. Uh, shout out, shout outs to everyone who makes this possible. Rags, I know you're not actually in the venue right now, but shout outs to Rags. Yeah. Shout outs to Alex, who's single man toing this. Oh yeah, yeah. Shout outs to Alex for sure, just helping out, just really just being in charge of everything and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Also, uh, end of the line coming up. January sixth. Yes. Six, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Be there. They will this be, uh, it's a Saturday. It's gonna be a fun, it's a fun regional for us. It's gonna be a good will tournament. Be a two hundred dollar pod bonus for the regional as well. As well, sign up early for five dollars off for your tickets. As well, early bird registration. Follow us on Twitch Source Gaming Productions, uh, Facebook Source Gaming Lounge, and Twitter SRC Gaming Lounge. And then you can follow me on Instagram at or at uh, Twitter at at Boz underscore Reginald. Also, mine isn't on the screen, but my uh, my Twitter is at SparkJones31, so okay. follow us there. Yeah. Enjoy I the actually need to get your Twitter before <laughs> I go. But, uh, yeah. Uh, been a good night.